if you're a designer and you're wondering how um professionals or logo designers create grid or anchor points in their presentation i have a brief tutorial for you to show you how you can do that manually and for those of you that can't afford grid it here is very very easy option in order to create um logo grids or anchor points so let's get right into it so first thing you want to do is switch your view to your illustrator view to um outline and basically that's going to reveal the outline of everything on your artboard on your screen and then once you zoom in as you can see it shows the intricate details of every anchor point in that outline mode and so once that is selected you zoom out and make sure your image is in frame and then you screenshot on windows so screenshot is windows plus shift plus s and then you get your screenshot then switch your um viewpoint back to preview and then once it's back to preview you use paste your screenshot on your um on your current interface then you place it over your logo once you place it over your logo you reduce the opacity so that you can know where each anchor point goes so you use your circle or your rectangular to rectangle to rather to place each anchor point manually you no longer have to guess where each anchor point are and therefore you have easy ways to go about creating a professional outlook for your logo presentation so you can zoom in zoom out select any tool it doesn't shift you can use it not just for your logos but for shapes for text once you convert your text to um once you convert your text outline you can now create anchor points for that i'm sure you have seen many logo presentations that have even textual anchor points so that is a very easy way to do it as you could you don't guess anymore you get it accurately and again i remind you the best plugin i know out there right now is gridit and if you can access or afford gridit that's beautiful use it but for now for those that can do this or that can afford gridit this is the best option that i know of so if you learn something let me know if you still have questions let me know so until the next tutorial cheers guys